Um, Atlanta's my home right now. It's my place that I've chosen to raise my family. You know, I'm married. I have a three-year-old daughter. And uh, Atlanta's a good place to raise children, I think. Uh, I'm here primarily for my family, but my music brought me here. And uh, it's a good place to keep coming back to. You know, I've traveled to New York, D.C., up and down the East Coast, West Coast, Chicago. Atlanta's a good place to come back to. Um, it affects me in a way that um, it keeps me grounded. It's very much like home, Birmingham, England, in the fact that it's, you know, country, but there's enough city element to keep me still hip to what's going on and not so out of the loop that I'm like, um, you know, who's Sierra or whoever. So, you know, Atlanta's got flavor. You know, it makes me feel proud to be who I am, you know, a black woman. I see, you know, many walks of life in terms of black people in all shades, all different, you know, genres in terms of work, uh, people that, you know, in the profession of law, music, doctors, business owners, fashion. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, Atlanta is, is, is the place that keeps me black. <laughs> Okay, um, next coming out for me, uh, working on completing the Judy Dexter collection, which is a compilation of CDs, songs from CDs that I've already recorded. Also some new songs that are going to be uh, singles actually, In Ain't Easy being one of them and Happiness being another single. And also a documentary type DVD type video uh, to give you an insight, a bit like what I'm doing right here and where I'm from, what my influences are and where I'm going. I think the music industry is changing just because of um, the resources that are now being more readily available to us, ideally being the internet. Um, it's such a powerful resource, whether it's to have your website, MySpace, Facebook. Yes, it has the downsides with the spam and, you know, that it's almost saturated with, you know, everybody in their granny sings. But, you know, if people do know you and you do have a following, it's a good way to reach people all over the world. You know, artists like myself, independently, we rely on our fans. We rely on word of mouth. We rely on, you know, building up a fan base by doing great shows. So people like, man, you have to see so-and-so perform because they do a great show. So, you know, as opposed to relying on a single and making the top 10, being number one, and if that doesn't happen, then you get dropped. So, I, you know, that's not a worry for me right now because that's not what my intention is to be in the top 10. I just want to keep making great music and keep increasing my following.